Hello, my name is Francisco Lachowski and I am a model. Francisco Lachowski. Francisco Lachowski, a Brazilian model that has experienced a remarkable resurgence in the fashion industry over the past few years, largely attributed to the influential reach of social media platforms. However, his journey into the realm of high fashion reads like a modern day fairy tale. The catalyst for Lachowski's journey started in 2008 in Brazil when his cousin Natalia invited him to participate in a small fashion show done by her school. Little did he realize that this seemingly small scale event would serve as the springboard for his meric rise to fame. As Lachowski strutted down the runway, his looks did not go unnoticed. Talent scouts attuned to spotting raw potential amidst the throngs of aspiring models were quick to recognize his undeniable talent. Cisco found himself approached by a prestigious agency, extending an invitation to delve deeper in the world of high fashion. Not long after he was invited to participate at the Ford Men's Supermodel of the World competition in Sao Paulo, which he won, and for which he was awarded a contract with Ford Models. Following his triumphant victory in the contest, he found himself whisked away to Paris, the fashion capital of the world. It was January 2009, and at a mere 18 years of age, he stepped onto the illustrious stage of Fashion Week, a platform synonymous with the pinnacle of haute couture and high fashion. Little did he anticipate the magnitude of what awaited him in the City of Lights. His grand entrance into the world of high fashion took place at the fall 2009 Dior Home Show, where he made his debut as an exclusive model. Following his sensational debut, he found himself thrust into the spotlight once again, this time in a markedly different role. He was handpicked by the legendary Karl Lagerfeld to be the face of a daring advertising campaign for the iconic brand. In a bold departure from convention, he bared it all, dressed in nothing but his underwear as he posed for Lagerfeld's lens. The resulting images were a striking blend of sensuality and sophistication, showcasing not only his physical prowess, but also his ability to embody the essence of the brand with unparalleled grace and flair. From that pivotal moment in Paris, his career rose to new heights, with each runway walked and every photo shoot undertaken, further solidifying his status as a rising star in fashion. The once 18-year-old novice had now become a seasoned professional navigating the fast-paced and competitive industry with poison grace. Francisco to the stage. Following his sensational debut, Francisco's presence propelled him into the spotlight, where he embarked on a whirlwind journey through the pages of countless editorials that now stand as a testament to his enduring influence in the fashion world. From the sleek sophistication of the defensive end to the bold charisma of Veni Vidi Vici by GQ Germany, Francisco's portfolio brims with an impressive array of editorial masterpieces that showcase his versatility. But it was not only in print that Lachowski star ascended, his runway prowess saw him striding confidently down catwalks adorned by the world's most esteemed fashion houses. From Armani, Gucci to D-squared, he graced the runway at the same time as other legendary models such as Sean O'Pry and Simon Nesman, both models whose careers I covered already. These videos will be linked down below. As his career continued to soar to new heights, Lachowski's influence extended beyond the confines of the runway and the pages of magazines. His collaborations with iconic brands such as Lacoste, DKYN, and Etro cemented his position within the industry. Among his notable achievements, 
He was honored with the prestigious Male Model of the Year Award by Models.com in 2016, chosen by their readers, serving as testament to his widespread appeal. That same year, he made a memorable appearance in Kanye West's music video for Wolves. In recognition of his unparalleled contributions to the industry, Lachowski was bestowed with the esteemed International Male Model Award at GQ Portugal's prestigious Men of the Year Awards in 2018, further solidifying his position as a trailblazer in the world of male modeling. The very next year, in 2019, he became the face of the iconic Yo Absolute fragrance. As the face of this esteemed fragrance, Lachowski brings an air of effortless charm and charisma to every campaign and advertisement, elevating the brand's image to new heights of prominence and desirability. But what makes Francisco stand out? His appearance is often noted for its serene and tranquil quality, characterized by a calm and composed demeanor that exudes a subtle femininity. His face possesses a delicate balance of features with soft contours and gentle expressions that evoke a sense of tranquility and grace. His eyes, often described as soulful and enigmatic, convey a depth of emotion that transcends conventional notions of masculinity, lending an ethereal quality to his overall look. Combined with subdued bone structure and subtle facial symmetry, Lachowski's serene countenance evokes a sense of timeless elegance, to make the long story short. He has a boyish charm to him, hence his popularity among the young generation nowadays. It's easy to understand why young boys might idolize Francisco and hail him as the epitome of male beauty, as adolescents, our perception of the ideal man often differs significantly from that of adulthood. Personally, while I acknowledge Lachowski's attractiveness in general world, I find that he lacks the edginess and grit that I prefer to see in the modeling world. Early 2010s, Francisco is a pretty model, but that's about it. His runway presence is okay. His editorial work doesn't take my breath away, but from a professional standpoint, his career is immense. So where does this leave us now? Throughout his career, Francisco's runway appearances have been relatively sparse, particularly in comparison to the early stages of his journey in the fashion world. Instead, he has predominantly directed his focus towards editorial work, probably because it pays a lot more. As a result, his presence on the runway has been notably minimal, almost non-existent, one of the most recent instances was his participation in the L'Oreal Paris 2023 show marking a rare foray onto the catwalk. Francisco's career has experienced a notable resurgence, largely attributed to his substantial presence on social media platforms. With a sizable and engaged following, he has cultivated a digital persona that has opened doors to lucrative opportunities within the fashion industry. Ultimately, while some may question the authenticity of his rise to prominence, there's no denying the tangible impact of his social media influence on his career trajectory. In an era where digital presence holds considerable sway, Francisco's ability to leverage his online following for professional gain underscores the evolving dynamics of success within the fashion industry. 